Hello, this time we will learn how to apply a dynamic material, which allows parameter changes during the game to Niagara. First, we create a material and open it. Then, with 3 pressed on the keyboard, click to create a constant 3 vector node, and with T pressed, click to create a texture sample node. Then change these two nodes to parameters, so that you can change the color and texture later. Next, create a multiply node and multiply the two nodes you created earlier with this multiply node. Next, we create a Niagara system by adding an empty emitter. To see whether the dynamic material is applied, we remove the sprite renderer, replace it with a mesh renderer, and set the desired mesh. Next, we create a spawn burst instantaneous to make the mesh appear at once. Then, we set the life cycle in emitter state to once to make the mesh appear only once per cycle. Then in particle state, uncheck kill particles when lifetime has elapsed to prevent the mesh from being affected by lifetime. Next, to apply the dynamic material created in Blueprint to Niagara, we create a material interface in the user parameters section. Then we apply this material interface to the user pair and binding of override material in Mesh Renderer. Next, we create a blueprint. In the Blueprints Components window, create a Niagara component. Then apply the Niagara system you created to this component. Go to Construction Script to see the changes of parameter each time they change. Then, create a Create Dynamic Material Instance node. Set the material you first created to this node to make a dynamic material. Then, drag the Return Value pin of the node to make the dynamic material a variable to call it in various places. Next, create a Set Niagara Variable Material node from Niagara component and connect the nodes. Then, set the name of the material parameter created earlier in Niagara system to this node. Then, set the dynamic material to object in this set Niagara variable material node. Next, pull the dynamic material variable to create a get form. Then, create a set vector parameter value node that can change the color of the material and a set texture parameter value node that can change the texture. Then, write the parameter name of the nodes exactly as the parameter name created in material as shown in the video. Finally, to see the changes in color and texture in real time when placed in the level, make the values of the two nodes variables each. Then click the eye icon on the right side of the created variables to make the variables changeable in the detail window of Blueprint. Now place the blueprint in the level and change the variables in the detail window to check whether the dynamic material is well applied to the Niagara system.